Hi guys, how is everyone doing today and welcome to this brand new an exciting don't know how it's gonna work game. <laughs> um So Welcome everyone that's joined the stream today. Well, this music is far too loud. I haven't tried this game yet. I've literally just downloaded it, finished downloading it and decided I wanted to stream it. So hello everyone. Crow finally catching the stream. Yes, I seen you had commented on the last video. Now I've noticed there's a note on here saying if you're a streamer, if you a YouTuber, please note that the, this game uses all your calls to make the real scale planet generation possible. So we might have some issues here, but I don't know how it's going to work. I don't think there's any settings in there. Oh, there is. We're actually at the wrong resolution here. <laughs> Um, let's change that, please. That should have saved, should it? I'm guessing it should have saved. Game performance. Uh, we'll just try it and see how it goes. So we'll try a new game here. As I say, I've never, I've never tried it before. So this is exciting. You were so excited about a new stream. Right, so what should we call this spaceport? Um, um, <laughs> new port. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll do the tutorial because I've got no idea what I'm doing. This is totally new, so anything's possible. Anton, welcome to the stream. Um, trying to see everyone else who's here. The chat's going a bit fast. <laughs> What's with all the uh, emojis, Anton? See space. Robo is the face reveal. Um, things didn't go to plan because. Um, Camera equipment didn't work so well, so for now, that might be tomorrow's video, but it won't be a live stream. Right. Welcome to the rooms of Cosmodrone, Newport. You have chosen or been chosen. Wait a minute, this is the wrong script. Hello, my name is uh, the creator of the game. I've prepared a small tutorial to help you comfortably with the game, learn everything about... Don't let looks deceive you. This is not some sort of like mobile game. This is actually a game like Kerbal Space Program and Simple Rockets 2. It's just very deceiving at first. Right, so the place is great space ports upon several. Alright. So this is our actual space center. We're inside here now. Try and zoom. Yep. Yeah. Find assembly. Click on it. Right. Create a new spacecraft. Here we go. Let's start building some spacecrafts. When am I going to make a new Simple Rockets 2 stream? Probably. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. How is the stream looking? Is it okay? Is it laggy? Is it. What's, what's happening? Hang on. Let's check. Streamlabs. Actually, it seems okay, so that's fine. Right, introduction, command module, right? Here we go. There's our command pod. Zoom again. There we go. Move camera along building. Uh, hold left alt and rotate the mouse wheel. Alright, that's a strange one, but I'll have it. Uh, continue rocket construction. Every rocket part has a bunch of attachment attachments. Yada yada yada. Practice time adapter. All right, that that's pretty quick. What's this game? This is 
as the title reads on the stream <laughs> that's the name of the game stream lag uh, well I don't know what to do about that this is just the game it is an early access game it is just being released on Steam so we're going to put two fuel tanks here press R to select the last part okay and then we want two of these on so one there and one there like that double click the name to rename it what should we rename it to um thump thump let's rename it that safety uh, save the rocket before launch right save rocket and launch there we go finally gonna get launch this thing we what take some time to prepare for launch okay that's no problem now we'll see what this game's actually made of I guess <laughs> Okay. This is interesting. Oh, whoa. Don't know what was going on there. So this is our launch site. I don't know where the assemb where the actual buildings were it just in have went. Right. So what time of day is this actual real time or something <laughs> i don't know right uh did it did it did it left shift to increase the throttle i'm guessing this is the throttle here right over 50 percent one more thing there's a time control panel on the left change the speed yep 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 advance by one hour uh all right it's the number buttons that advance time There we go. Press space to start the engines and flight will begin. There we go. WSD to steer the rocket. Just remember the rocket is very heavy vehicle and will take some time to rotate even a little bit. Fly until you run out of fuel and the rocket has crashed. Alright, cool. Lag, yeah, right, okay. Um, although it seems to have fixed itself. Has it fixed itself? Hope it's not better than Simple Rockets 2, yeah. Hello, Rainbow Man. Wash your hands, yeah, that's very good advice. <laughs> right, should we try turning this? Whoa! This is very... I thought it said it was going to take time to turn this. <laughs> this didn't take long to turn at all. So I just want to get up here and then have a look at the map and show you. Because apparently this is a real scale of Earth. Like, actual Earth. Why is there some railway track? The railway track, that I'm guessing that's like the track that brings the rocket over to the launch pad. I am really whoa, wobbly here. Can I lock onto the heading or something like that? Electric control okay. Alright. Ah, here. Prograde. Let's lock onto that marker. That is cool. It's actually got all these markers and everything. It's a mod. No, this is not Simple Rockets 2. This is a new game that's just came out on Steam. It's very early access. I'm just checking it out because it seemed pretty cool. And the name of the video is actually the name of the game. Believe it or not. It's very weird the name of the game right so where's our fuel this is ah uh, this little bar here i'm guessing this fuel gauge here is going to be how much fuel we have left uh please stick to english in the chat please for anyone that's coming and anton please could you um stop just spamming random emojis all right okay Whoa, the camera's changed. This is interesting. So whereabouts are we actually launching from on Earth? Can we get a map? Oh, there we go. 
Whoa, lag. <laughs> so we're actually we're launching from the states. So let here you go. Here's Australia. No. Oh, we're launching from Russia. Ah, right. Okay, that explains everything. There's me over here. <laughs> Plunk down. I wish you could. Oh, that would be a great feature if you could put your space station, your space port wherever you wanted. So I could actually put it where I live. That would be cool. We'll have to try and fly to the UK. That would be a good mission. Apps is pretty high. So yeah, this is true scale as well, as well as actually being a representation of Earth. You're not spamming. It's kind of simple rockets too. Yeah, it is. Very similar, but it's more towards realism, I think, with the um, whole realistic Earth feel to it. Right, that's just speed forward time bit here. I don't know why it glares like that once I, when I look up. Apparently it's got a realistic height map as well, so... Uh oh. So the height map is actually the real one from Earth. Right, let's see what happens when it crashes down here. See what happens. Ah. Just explodes. <laughs> Right, escape to go to assembly shop. That's a weird name, assembly shop. Bit of a weird na thing to call it. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this game, actually. This seems pretty cool. Right, we need to make s s significant <laughs> changes to the design of the spacecraft you've created. Such changes are best made on a copy of it. To make a copy, select the rocket in the list and click the copy rocket button in the top panel. So that and cloth copy selected rocket. Then go and edit rocket. Here we go. Quickly move the camera. You can quickly move the camera around the assembly by clicking on any part of the rocket. Holding left the way you point the camera. Hold left alt. I'm not sure what it's trying to get us to do. Move the camera focus between different rocket parts. Clicking on any part of the rocket, yeah. Oh, did it mean on this? Um, <laughs> I don't know what you mean, game. Please tell me. It's not realistic. Uh, no one re re entry burn. Yeah, there wasn't a re entry burn. But remember, this is early access. This is, this literally just came out six days ago, I think it was. Move the camera photos between different rocket parts. Right. Click on any part. By clicking on any part. Oh, while holding left alt. Okay, I see. I see. I just didn't read it enough. Didn't read it enough. Right, nose cone. Whoa, that is one big nose cone. <laughs> During the experience. Experience assembly shop make a lot of no mistakes from and place it somewhere near the rocket. Okay. Know that this part is orange outline. This means the part is not attached to the rocket. You can undo by control Z, yeah, that's pretty obvious. Operation, you can change your mind undoing the last one by control shift and Z, which is redo. Rotate the selected part, WSD. I'll press delete and manually remove it. Right, attach a decoupler to the rocket. That sounds like a good idea. Right, chubby fuel tank. <laughs> chubby fuel tank. 
Robert's buffering sometimes. Yeah, that's just the nature of an, an early access game. Like it said at the start, it is um, heavy on the CPU power, apparently. Right, so now you can add more fuel. Add three tanks, okay. Now a liquid fuel engine. Just one of them, is it? Panel in the left stage and set. Oh, this is a long tutorial. <laughs> For example, the angel set up the axe. Right, okay, okay. If you hover your mouse over this stage, right, yep, yeah, that's normal. I understand that. Let's try out your creation. Right, let's call it Thump 2. Let's save it and then launch. The name of the decoupler. I didn't say the name of the decoupler, what was it? Divide and Conquer. That is a great name for a decoupler. <laughs> right, now it's telling us to check out the map. Yeah, I already, I already, I've already seen the map. Right, the map, the pale blue dot. Yep. Oh, oh, let's zoom out the moon. So we've got the moon. Oh, we also have, what's this? I'm guessing these are actual, the, the whole true solar system. If that's the case, that is awesome. Right, let's close that again. Some tips before flight. Firstly, you fly in low atmosphere. Altitude up to 30 kilometers. Keep your speed less than 300 meters per second. Otherwise, you will lose a lot of energy on air friction and the rocket can become uncontrollable. Is that scientifically true? I don't think you are, are you? I track the currents of rock rotation, artificial horizon, the ball on the right marks on the blue indicator the sky. Yep, 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 yep. This may sound complicated. Uh, yeah, we know all this from Kerb Space Program. Right, left shift to 100%. Activate the first stage. Right, let's practice try and reach orbit. Fly upwards until you reach not two to 30 kilometers. You can speed up time in the moment, comes fast. Why this altitude? Because atmosphere pressure is low enough there, we can start a gravity maneuver. Right, okay, altitude is there. Let's, let's do speed up time a little bit. This is a long way to go before you start your turn. It seems a bit wasteful. I think it's better than Simple Rockets 2. No, but at this point it is pretty good. Um, D to start your gravity turn. Right, okay. Turn to 60 degrees east. I think we're already past 60 degrees, aren't we? Right, you reach an altitude of 75 kilometers. Point in this game more planets and simple rockets too. Yeah, that is true. Um, another thing, this is true scale to our real uh, now set the throttle to zero. Left control or by pressing X. In the real world, the Earth's atmosphere is no clear boundary, but in the game. Shows altitude of 110 kilometers as a boundary as such as across the right blah 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 blah. Okay, reach an altitude of 110 kilometers. That is fine. Perfect. Turn the rocket to an extra on an extra 20 degrees east. I think that's meant to say an, e an extra. Set fuel full full speed. Oh, we've run out of that stage, Let's decouple that, and then there we go, fire that next stage, wait until the fuel runs out. I don't like that nasty glare that comes up, that's a bit, a bit too much. How many planets does it have? Pointless games just for fun, yeah. I'm sure the more updates, the better it's going to get. So there's our first stage falling short there. Okay, so how many planets does it have? Obviously it has Earth, the Moon, 
Venus, Mercury, the Sun, Mars. I think it has them all, really. I think it's got the whole solar system. I would imagine. I don't know if you can go to them all yet. I, I think it's only Earth and the Moon that's modelled at the moment. Don't quote us on that one. Let's just put this at prograde. Will always be the best. What's the name of the game? The game is in the live stream's title. Believe it or not. But welcome to the stream, SFS the agent. Thanks for joining. So here we go. It is a pretty cool site that... I mean, you can actually go to where you live. You know what I mean? That is... A bonus of this being actual earth you can even go if you want to go up Everest you can land on Everest I seen that in the description of the game like you can literally if you want to land on Everest you can land on Everest there's nothing stopping you oh are we actually gonna go oh we nearly got into orbit not enough speed let's time warp and have a look Can we not go any faster than 10? Is it because I'm in the tutorial still? Oh, I don't like that glare. Is there a way to turn that off? <laughs> Video. Um, performance. Game. No, I don't think there's a way to turn that off. I think that must just be... Right, we'll return to this space center this time wait until the rock falls back or oh, we can just leave yeah we'll just leave and see what's happening now graphics are beautiful the graphics are pretty good to be honest for an early access game this is really good you went to the Himalayas did you have you played this game is that Pluto at the end I hope it is Pluto at the end they should really include Pluto. Right, so I wanted to see at the moment give you access to every rotted in the assembly shop. You can find a list of missions in the flight control center, building on the left. I'm guessing that's that, which looks like a control center. <laughs> uh, to accomplish while we wait for the next update. That's it. Thanks for your support and interest in the game. Oh, and I forgot, you can take a screenshot. You can hide the UI by Alt and Z. Okay. Cool. So I'm guessing this is for when... I wonder what that room is. For when you can have career and stuff in the game, then I'm guessing that's what all these other rooms are for. So Mission Control Centre. Turn on the light in the warehouse flight control. Level zero. I select an imp fly to Everest. You can actually fly to Everest. Reach low Earth orbit. Try putting. All right, cool. We've actually got some missions here. You went the Him Himalayas in reality. That is pretty sweet. So I'm guessing we'll hire someone. Turn on the lights in the warehouse and in the flight control centre. Right, warehouse? Is this the warehouse? Okay, we must have to get a employee here. Here. Storage. Not sure what these do yet, but... Turn on the light in the warehouse and the... Oh. That is the lights, isn't it? That's the lights on, is it? No? The lights? Are the lights not on? Do I have to hire someone else? I'm not sure about turning the lights on. I don't know what that's all about. Let's have a look at the list of parts anyway. Let's build a new spacecraft. 
Why is the command sent empty? I am not sure. Is this game on mobile? I don't think it is on mobile. How long will the stream be? Um, not much longer, to be honest. I have got a lot to... Whoa, this is a lot of parts. Okay, so should we get some out here? Sputnik command module. Alright, okay. Little one. That's the fuel tank we're using. That one. Heavy fuel tank. Oh, nice. Side fuel block. That's That's pretty cool, that one. I'm guessing you need a side decoupler. Radial decoupler. Um, tells you how the fuel flows, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm not sure how they work. <laughs> maybe you have to put like a... Uh, maybe you have to connect something. We'll figure all this out at some point. So we'll leave that there. All these engines... That is a huge engine, that one. And these. This is a pretty large selection of parts here. Solar panel. Okay. Is that just one little tiny solar panel, I'm guessing? It's not going to be battery. Alright, cool, cool. Um, cargo beer section. Oh, that is nice. So there's a nice cargo beer. Broken parachute. Why would you want a broken parachute? Tail protective block. Alright, so that's for in the cargo. Cargo beer, that's nice. Alright, so that is just, that is the basics of all the parts here. So yeah, quite a big selection of parts, I would say. Cargo decoupler. So I'm guessing does that go in there like so? Maybe that's how that goes. We'll have to figure all this out in another video. Because there's a lot to figure out, I guess. <laughs> and we'll do some of their missions as well. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching and joining us for this stream. If you joined us in the stream, this is an exciting new, new early access game. You know we love games like this where you can just launch your own stuff into space. So I'll have some more videos on this soon. Thanks everyone that joined for the stream. I really appreciate it, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. So, thanks for watching. Until the next one.